This is Cyberpunk 2077 running on a 3.3 uh, 3 gigahertz Intel Core i9 9820X with 32 gigs of RAM and a 3 gig AMD Radeon HD 7970 video card. So currently we are at 1080p uh, resolution and we are running, it is at low setting, but it sh always shows custom because I customized stuff. I turned everything down or off that I could and we have AMD uh, FX at a fairly higher level than I normally like to do. Normally I do the next one up, but um, we are running it on the balanced setting. <clears throat> so let's, uh, yeah, let's take a look. I, you know, so, so this is in the city. Um, it does have the, uh, the traffic density turned down, so that does help. Um, and, uh, but it is worth mentioning, it is in the city, and I am driving around on a bike, which tends to be the circumstances that push it the hardest, as far as, uh, really driving performance. Uh, if I was anywhere else, uh, it, it wouldn't be quite this bad. I'm really trying to demonstrate under, uh, under harshest conditions rather than the other way around. Um... And obviously, this isn't really a game that you'd play on this card, but it appears to be able to. I mean, I'm, I'd be hard pressed to say this is unplayable. I mean, it's not, it's not pretty, it's not, it's not awesome, but it's definitely playable. That's for sure. So we get off the bike here, and yeah, you can see playability goes up a little bit. Um, and this is. Keep in mind, this is a 13-year-old video card. This video card came out in, in 2011. Um, so that's, I mean, that's that's something that's pretty impressive, if you ask me. Because this is definitely playable. I mean, there's, there's no way you could argue this is unplayable. I know there's people out there that gotta have their 60, but I would argue that this is playable. Um... I would say if you put this in a more powerful system, just to absolutely run it on the most powerful you can, you'd probably see a little bit better results even than this. Um, but I just don't think anyone cares about those numbers because no one is actually going to pair a 13th Gen i9 or a 7950X 3D, for example, with a 7970. It's just, it's not... It's not anything anyone's going to do, but this ninth gen build is a build that could end up getting paired with a card like this if it just happens to be what somebody has on hand. So I thought this was kind of a more relevant um, testing uh, scenario. Uh, let's do this. Let's uh, let's get some daylight. Oh, what? Why can't I skip time? See if I want to do it. Oops. Okay, let's let's get us some daylight. And let's go. Go out of town and see what happens. I'm gonna bet as soon as we get out of this downtown area that that frame rate's gonna go up quite a bit. But that was kind of the whole point was I wanted to show uh, that it's playable worst case scenario before showing you know what we what we see when it's on a, a better case scenario. Okay, so yeah, so the uh, the uh, the seventy nine seventy is actually a, a, a fan favorite. This card uh, this card's one of those cards that's kind of up there as as a good 
bang for the buck um, video card that really kind of stood the test of time. Uh, originally, this card uh, would have uh, uh, been uh, competing with the GeForce GTX 680, but with uh, driver updates and and game advancements and stuff, um, these actually really... Gosh darn it. Um, these cards really compare more in my opinion, with the Ray, uh, sorry, with the GeForce GTX 780 versus the 680 now. Yeah, see, now that we're not in that downtown area, you're seeing the frame rate go up a good bit. So, I think this should give everyone kind of a pretty good idea of what to expect running on Cyberpunk 2077 on the, uh, the, the 7970 paired with the i9-9820X. Hope you guys find this interesting, and uh, thanks for watching the video.